Yo guys, what is going on? Nickname is just Yellow, and today this Norwegian hardcore PC gamer is gonna go through all the new knife skins, or just about all of them, and the order will be from the shittiest ones to the most uh, nice looking ones. Uh, I've tried to sort of speak use all of the experience I've gathered, uh, you know, during the the entire fucking year of no life in Cisco I, I, I got, and hopefully this will sort of speak represent the actual price, but not also that, how good the skins look by order, you know. So we are going now through the shittiest ones and we will end up at the probably most epic looking ones. As for the knife skins themselves, I'll go through that after a couple of little introduction bullshits I figured I should say. So about the YouTube channel, there are no ads anymore, but I've added another option for people to support if... Uh, Patreon is not your dig. If you don't want to use uh, money through PayPal in Patreon to, you know, support the this YouTube channel right here, you can actually donate skins by a link in the description and on the about page of the YouTube channel. So I figured I should just slap that on for people who would really enjoy this channel. And now let's get on with the content here and hopefully all of this looks really nice in max graphics. I know that anti-lacing, it actually matters a lot for the, uh, the shit that we're looking at right here, but Valve has actually disabled that whenever you inspect knives. Still, this is you know in, in the above max graphics so hopefully it looks really nice and I gotta say a lot of the skins do look really nice uh, Damascus ski steel all of these knives are not really my dig but obviously some people are gonna enjoy those and of course a couple of these knife knives looks widely different from being run at the lowest graphics to the highest graphics so obviously we need to turn on a couple of shaders I believe to be able to get that kind of feature I think it's like medium or high that that's like the lowest shader level you can turn on and still like get the nice effect still i think that valve has been able to do something crazy and incredible with this small update like despite how insignificant it is towards the game itself it still spice up the game and that is actually what I want to talk about in this video, In main, mainly. I could commentate on all the knife skins themselves, but I, I'll just mention the ones that are the most, you know, you know, like the, the ones that stands the most out to me, or, you know, you, you can type in the comment section whatever you people think. I'll, I'll read all of it, no, no biggie. But still, let's get on with the, the, the thing that makes this game live on so incredibly long. That's sort of speak what I wanted to dedicate the video, video to in the first place, so... The crazy thing with Valve is that they are actually changing up CSGO in such a way in which the game is probably going to live on forever if they keep this shit up. Um, if you people have played, um, let's say, Inferno, if you play Banana there, it used to look widely different, but they changed that up. Same goes with Pit, and a couple of bugs everywhere on all these maps are being changed all the time. Everything from the wooden door to the metal doors on Dust 2, or the complete remake of Train, uh, or just massive changes on Overpass. I mean, there are so many changes made to this game. Just like in your real life, there's gonna be a lot of shit that is being changed, and that makes it so that the game uh, the game of life, or the games that you decide to play in life, they're not gonna be as boring. Look at these skins right here. The Doppler has completely widely different looks depending on the knife or the just randomization of the skin coloring that you're gonna get. And I think that looks goddamn beast and just, it's a genius little thing to do. Even though, again, the cases drop really rare, Keep that in mind. Like, the cases are almost as expensive, if not more expensive, than a key, and then you have to have a key to open it, and the chance of getting something is even lower. That could be intentional, by the way. It could be so that the Valve is, is like, you know what, we're gonna drop a few of these cases, but the few ones that are out there are in general gonna drop something good. Um, now, that's actually bad and good, mainly because the lower tier skins are gonna be a little bit more expensive, and the higher tier skins are gonna be a little bit less expensive, but in the end of the day, we're gonna be able to get to see a lot more of these sexy Doppler knives, like this one, for example. Like, I'm not sure if I want to get the ultraviolet flip knife, fa minimal or factory, or this one right there, you know, the, the flip knife. Uh, by the way, I just like those because I like subtle things in this game. My aesthetical sense, it goes into subtle. Does that make any sense? Like, that, that's sort of speak how I work as a person. Whenever I play the game, I want to have a nice, uh, a, a nice skin that looks good, but it's not so poppy or flashy that my attention indirectly goes towards it. I mean, if you were walking in the black night and a white light is flashing around, You'll obviously see that fucking light, won't you? It's sort of, sort of speak, that kind of thing I got, but I want it to be different. I want the game to be the flashy thing, but I want the gun skin to, sort of speak, be there. It's a nice thing, but it's not as poppy. And that is why I enjoy this patch the most, mainly, or the changes in general. Mainly because, like, a lot of these skins, they're just so powerfully made. They're made subtle, but a couple of them are just made sexy as well. That Marble Fae, that's, you know, mwah, just looks really great. Not exactly my taste. 
unless I could get it like blue or purple, which probably exists. But I mean, come on, like Valve has been do be able to do a lot with a few skins here, and I think that's the very best like genius thing right here. A lot of people that play the game of fuck ton, they are t dead fucking tired of whatever the fuck they got. If any of uh, any of you people remember Rage Burns, I used to play with him, you know, in the past. He he has gone through 15 fucking knives, or like 20 or something. And it all started when he accidentally unboxed a factory new with a yellow tip karambit uh, fade. And I like that yellow triangle. So from there on out, he just started to trade a fuck ton, and it ended actually up on this knife, the marble fade that you just saw, I think. Or maybe it was the, the Doppler one. I'm not completely sure. But the main point, though, is that, you know, people will get fucking tired of their default gear and changing, changing it up, just like in real life. We'll make it all live on further and longer and better, and, and everything won't be as boring. So, you know, that that's the aftermath. Like, that is what we have learned. And I think it's a good thing, because it will make it so that you people and me, myself, we will enjoy the game. We will adapt to whatever changes that Valve, Valve throws at us, whether or not they're good or bad changes. And we will infinitely get, become better players, and we can have have a good time. Uh, keep in mind to not rage though and you know don't take everything dead fucking serious. I mean sometimes I just find assholes, I block them and I just have a good time and it works out. Trust me, I've done it a lot of times. Anyhow, now we are gonna go to the two very best most cool skins out there. I was not able to find anyone looking factory news, so I decided to not show them. I might be like, it might be updated from when you are watching this here, but the Tiger Tooth skins, I think they look great. I mean, my nickname on the internet is Yellow, so why wouldn't I try and get one? But first off, I think I want to get a couple of the ones that I'm going to imagine to be a little bit more uh, cheap, and then on, I will maybe upgrade. So, hopefully you people enjoy this video. Uh, my videos do not have ads anymore, so if you would donate to something, uh, the link will be in the description. You can choose between maybe a CSGO skin, or just pure value, or valued, or whatever the fuck you want to, you know, whatever current you want to choose like that that's all completely up to you if not just slap on a like that means just as much to me anyways nickname is yellow have a nice day and don't get beastified when you play